goal has been to, to finally get to March Madness. What was that feeling kind of like when you saw your name finally pop up on the screen? Uh, it was a sigh of relief, uh, seeing our name getting called. Just grateful for all my teammates and the coaches and God. So everything just played out the right way. T. Yeah, I, I um, <clears throat> pick it back up what Mook said. It was a sigh of relief. Um, I just feel like now it's just uh, just one check mark off the list, and now we just got to make a run. Go ahead, Paul. I asked Coach Jans this same question, and I know you guys had to grind to get back into it, one and seven in SEC to start off. I think you were 12 and 10 after that loss to Alabama. But was there a moment in February where you guys, and this is for both of you, was there a moment where you said, all right, we can get this done. We, The path is in front of us. We, we can we can get to the tournament. Was there a certain game or a certain moment where, where the confidence got a lot higher? Uh, I wouldn't say it was a particular game. I'd just say, <clears throat> During that little stint, we always go back to that stint that we just had, uh, where we was like losing a lot of games in the, in the beginning of the SEC. But I just say during that time, we just got closer. And then for me personally, I felt like um, regardless of what was going to happen, I just think that it was going to come for us um, to stay prayed up and stay working. I thought that where we at now was going to happen eventually. God's God's doing, we did. So. Go to Grace here in the front. Obviously, you said getting in, big sigh of relief, but you guys have a pretty quick turnaround with the playing game. What are your impressions of kind of playing in the first four and having that spotlight all to yourselves? Uh, I feel like it would have been nice to have a bye, but just grateful to still be in. Uh, got great coaches, uh, so we're going to wait on them to game prep, game prep, and uh, just get ready for the pick. Tell I mean, you guys have been in some, you know, games that you really had to grind out, you know, some tough defensive battles. I guess how much does all that work, you know, through some of those games add to the, you know, the side of relief, to the satisfaction of, you know, being able to get rewarded at the end of the year? Man, it means everything. It means everything. I think we've been through a lot of ups and downs, more than most teams. Um, we've been through all the situations, man, the, the tough games, the close games, the, the not so close games. Um, and everything just made us a better team. We had, I said, we got a lot of experience out of this whole season. And I'm just so proud of our guys and the coaching staff overall. Danny B, second row middle. I guess before we get guys' obsession with Tolo, how much are y'all going to kind of lean on Will's experience in the NCAA tournament to to ask him about maybe what the experience is like for him? And Tolo, especially if he, you know, he comes in for you when you would be in foul trouble or whatever, but what, how he's, he puts you in practice this year? Man, Will, Will's like a, Another coach. Another coach <laughs> thinks uh, 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 encyclopedia or something. He always got the fun facts and always knows everything. And not in a bad way, but in a good way. He just he has a lot of knowledge of the game. And you know, like you said, he's been in the tournament. So just having that extra experience of him and coaching staff that's been in the tournament um, is, is really helpful for us. For either one of y'all or both of y'all, y'all know much about Pitt so far? Uh, no, nah, I, I don't think you know too much. I know I don't know him, but I know of the guy that played at Ole Miss. Or the, I think it's like a poor man or something like that. Henson. Uh, yeah, Henson. Yeah, he used to play for Ole Miss. That's all I know. Stuff. Coach Chance was talking about you know when you're playing in the first quarter, the only game on TV. I guess you know you guys have been recruits before. What's it like, you know, knowing that you know your program is going to be the, the game that everyone's watching? And, and I guess what would be your pitch to you know recruits of why Chris Chance is the guy that that can build this up a little bit? Uh, I think you already said something like that. I did so, say something so like I'll let you take it. You want me to say it again? <laughs> Copy paste. <clears throat> yeah, uh, it's a it's a great feeling to have everybody watching. Um, why wouldn't you want everybody to watch your game? Put Mississippi State on the map. Um, show everybody what we've been working on, what we can do. And as far as recruits, man, I had said it earlier in the interview. We were talking about. I just feel like the guys that that want to work and become better players and want the best out of themselves. Uh, Chris Jan is the guy. I think um, even the coaching staff, they all want the best out of you um, on and off the court. But for the guys that don't want that, I don't think this is the program for you. Anything else for the players before we let them go? All right. Thank you. Thank you.